Hi, this is Melissa from Nations Travels. We ate at the Smith House on July 4th when we attended the 4th of July Parade and the Car Show in Dahlonega, Georgia. We hope you enjoy. After you pay for your food, you go down these stairs and you'll turn to your right. On your way to the dining room, you will notice on the right hand side, there's a there's an old cash registered. We were told by the people who worked there that this is a one of a kind cash register and it had been used there years ago until it exceeded its limits to what it could register. So it had went into storage and when they refound it, they had, the, had it restored. And uh, we just wanted to mention this and let you see a picture of it. Hey everybody, we're here at the Smith House. We have eaten here before, but it's been a lot of years. And uh, walking in, it just really looks good. It's uh, all you can eat. Uh, they bring everything that's on the menu to your table. And uh, this Smith House is really interesting. When we came in, they told us about a gold mine in the basement that they had found in 2006, I believe. It yeah. was founded first in 1899, and they yeah. refounded it. Yeah, they, they dug it in 1890, whatever you Yeah, it's here. on the video. We will yeah. make sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you a little They're later on. They're celebrating 100 years from the opening this yeah. year. So we're actually looking forward to this meal. The fried chicken, our, I've already seen it. It looks wonderful. Yeah, we saw <laughs> some going by a minute ago. When it gets here, we'll uh, show it to you. But it, um, you pay before you come in come down the stairs well they have a lift and it's twenty four ninety five a person and you get all this food and drinks is included. Lurch included. Can't wait. We'll, we're gonna take the pictures to show you. Make a mouth water. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, talk I'm to you really this. We visited yeah, this, the mine. This wasn't the plan today. We visited the mine to smell the food and I was like, you sure you want to eat here? Alright. All right, thank you. It's going to feel good if you've been out eating. Yeah, there, bro. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we have just a minute for you. Thank you. Okay, he brought us out some sweet tea, and we got cornbread and rolls. We're going to get it. All right, we'll see you in a little bit when the rest of the food comes out. Yeah, Has arrived. He's going to bring us out some colored greens to try also. Terry's going to tell you what we've got here. Yeah, well, this is mine. We'll bring hers out later. Yeah. Yeah. So is that beef stew? Yes, a beef stew. Cream corn. Fried okra. My favorite. Green beans. Fried chicken, of course. Mashed potatoes. Oh, I like oh, wrong way. Uh, mac and cheese. And is that squash? He said a pickle squash. Okay. And pickles. And the greens are coming out. Brought out our collard greens. I think 
it's a southern thing. I'm not sure. I haven't eaten much, but I'm hoping they'll be wonderful. Anything else to say, Mr. Terry? Not really, other than I'm looking forward we gotta to this. Say the, we're going to say the blessing and hope we don't pass out in the... We are buttering our rolls. I can't believe you said yes. <laughs> I was like, really? Woo! No, I'm softy. Anyway, this is my one of my favorite things that I cannot cook fried okra or okra as we call it around these parts. <laughs> Try something. I'll cut it off. Try okra. I know you love it. I don't care for okra, but I will, I will try okra. You, you, you got to eat everything in this bowl. Yeah, it's try. a challenge. I will try. You accept that challenge? I feel like we're no. full of things. <laughs> All right. Be back. All you can eat. It's not actually all you can eat because they don't bring you refills. But there's no way you're gonna be able to eat all that they bring. For two people, this is this is enough for probably three or four. Yeah. Unless you're just really hungry. I can't get over that roll. That is, it is like just your basic dinner roll. Oh my goodness, it tastes like it's been infused with butter. You know how I'm always talking about butter. It's sweet too. But you pay it to I don't care if I mention that. Did you mention that? No. This is so good. I just can't believe I'm eating at the Smith House on the 100th anniversary. That makes it even more special. How do you like it so far, Hudson? I put it this way. Have you tried anything in Delta? No. His mom full of chicken. Give them out, but uh, no, everything I'm trying, I like it. That roll, I just but can't describe it. The roll is really, really soft. So, and you like fresh, soft roll, and you don't like this. Collard green time. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of collard greens. Well, when you force it out, they're smaller. <laughs> I was forced to eat whatever I'm thinking about. It's sweet. Oh, really? Well, I'll, I'll give them a try. Very sweet. That's really good. I can't believe that. I have a charm. If we'd have come here when we first got married, the only thing I would have eaten was the bread, potatoes, and chicken. <laughs> would you be eating everything still? <laughs> I would have been eating almost everything. The collard. The collard. And then whatever the, similar, the food is similar to holidays, but I hate to say it because I love holidays. This is better. This is more home cooking and not. Even though it is mass, they bring it out. I was hoping to get it. They bring it out in this little wheelie thing and they set it all out for it. And they ask if you want dark meat or uh, white meat. Okay, so we have something here. If you like for me to. Okay, dessert will be coming up in a little bit. <laughs> if we I'm looking forward to it. Survive. I wonder if we get a choice or if it just comes out. I wish it would be like banana food. Or some kind of cobbler, something old fashioned. This old fashioned country dinner. Home foods. So, you ready? Alright, let's enjoy the rest of the meal. This is dessert. It was strawberry shortcake. Or it's going to be strawberry shortcake. Are you ready? Are you ready to put it? Yeah, I can it. I enjoyed the meal. It was really good.
That was a very, very good lunch. I recommend the Smith House. $25 a person and we had so much food left over. Oh, look at this. So cool. This is something we didn't see the last time we came to Dahlonega. They have a Holly Theater and they show older movies for a cheap price. It's their 75th anniversary celebration. How cool. Terry, it's their 75th anniversary celebration. What movie are they showing? It's a 1948 classic. Is that right? Here? 1948 style so that must be when it opened the bride goes wild how cool is this so is that what it looked like when they opened well that's super cool if you lived up here that'd be something you could do five cents so the original screen has been removed and they put on plays in this place but for the anniversary they are going to do 50 cent 1948 movie and five cent sodas. Sounds neat. And they also are going to be putting on Elf, the play at Christmas. Right now, as of this recording, they're putting on the play called Matilda. We went into the general store. It was just like I thought it would be. The floors creak. They have a bunch of the old timey candy, a bunch of really neat stuff. But what I liked the most was they had like the old timey machines that you used to see in arcades where you would squeeze something that would tell your future, tell your personality. I was just really, entertained in this store and we bought a Route 66 root beer to try. Stay tuned. I like this store also. Uh, my wife is correct. The, the floors do creak and it has an old uh, building sound to it. Uh, it's a good place to come. But they've got a good mixture of antiques and new novelty type things that uh, you, you enjoy looking at. Uh, they've got t-shirts. If you're decorating your man cave, they got a lot of the signs that some of them are automotive, some of them are just advertisements but uh, it seemed like there was something there for everybody to enjoy. They had toys for the kids. Uh, so if you're in this area, do stop in the store. I, th I think you won't be dis disappointed that you did.
What you got, dear? I got a Route 66 root beer. Yeah. Got it at caffeine, the... real, what's it say? Real cane sugar. Yeah, and caffeine free. And where did you get it? At the Longer General Store. Oh, wow, we always wanted to go in there. They had a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's, just, it's a really nice store to go into. Tell us if it's better than your Abita. Is that what it's called, Abita? Abita. Because you like root beer and I like cream soda, but this time it was your turn. It's good, my Abita root Sweeter. beer from Louisiana.